welcome back to Shaktar's Glory episode 91. And now this is a little bit of a weird one for me because it's been about a month since I recorded the Shaktar save. Um, I've just got back from a week's holiday with the family. Um, and then I was about two, three weeks, I'd say, maybe a bit more even ahead in recording. And I'm still ahead. I'm still got a couple more good couple of weeks of episodes to come out before it gets to the point where this episode is going to come out. So it's a little bit of a strange one. Uh, so I've had to re luckily I left myself a couple of games following what I think last time was the Liverpool game. Uh, which I don't remember too much about it, but we'll go back and have a look and see what's happened since. But I left myself a couple of games, thankfully, which let me sort of get back in touch and tune with the team, who we've got, how we're playing, what we're doing, that sort of thing. I did. I was going to take it on holiday and try and record a few, but yeah, packing packing stuff, it just didn't really fit. And I, I wasn't going to have enough time and stuff to do that around family and things like that and family commitments to do on holiday and I probably wouldn't have wanted to really uh, it was a holiday to get away from stuff so obviously last week as it was for me uh, there was a lot of different stuff on I've got a week of Fortnite videos a week of MS dossing around there was finally got to release the championship manager years as well which I was really excited about uh, I've noticed as well I've pushed on up to 49 uh, subscribers in that time so I want to thank every one of you new and old uh, who are here watching this series or if you're watching the other videos and you've come here from them or vice versa yeah just want to say thank you pushing that 50 one more to go uh, so that'd be fantastic hope obviously by the time this comes out it may have already happened because like I say um, I'm so far ahead still who knows what's going to happen but so we are here today with uh, Manchester City, which I think is in the quarterfinals, but we'll have a look at the schedule in a second. You'll see in the team we're going to play in a minute. That's a real oversight for me to leave it on this screen. It's, you can see how, how rusty I am from recording and whatnot. But we'll have a proper look when we get into the game. I may still change one or few things because, uh, as you can see, there's a few things that we're going to touch upon as well. So, yeah, we had Liverpool um, previously. Now, I think, yeah, we lost 2-1 at Anfield. And I remember it being quite a dramatic game but it doesn't seem it there it, we won I thought it was a dramatic game but we won 1-0 at home Serge Gnabry in the third minute and that was enough to put us through on away goals so maybe it was just a very tense sort of 87 minutes after that goal uh, I'm not too sure I, I have to go back and watch it myself and take a look so since then we've had uh, Desna in the league which we which was my first game back and it, I kept a fairly strong team out where I could the only changes I made were sort of forced upon me really uh, we Comfortable 7-0 win. I don't know where they are in the league. Uh, we'll take a look at the league as well anyway, because you can see how we're doing after the split and the last sort of run of games. So Desna, yeah, they're in the relegation places, so not too surprising. But we are 13 points clear now uh, of uh, Dunra Kiev. Seems like it should be a lot more. Our goal difference is almost double, well, more than double theirs. We haven't lost still. We've only drawn four games. Seems like we should be more than that, but we were 10 at the point I picked the game up. So we've obviously played them. We'll talk about that shortly. So yeah, we then had the break. So we played, uh, went on a tour of Japan. I left these to the assistant. Not too much really there to talk about. Um, yeah, nothing there to talk about in those friendlies. So like I mentioned, we had the split, leaving us a 10 point lead. Um, then we also had our young holding midfielder. I'm going to just going to have a quick look at him. I think he's on our bench here at the moment. Yeah, Luke. Kianovic. He's made his debut at 19 for Ukraine and he's got a goal. Uh, he's just coming on leaps and bounds and he, I would reckon, if we're still doing this series next season, uh, which is quite a strong possibility, we're not looking quite as as set, well from what I recall um, this season as last season. We got to the final obviously last season but we looked a different prospect. We got a bit more I think I mentioned it in a few episodes, probably uh, that we've got um, a bit more of a younger team there a bit of a smaller lineup as well i'd say a bit of a smaller squad still quite big but a bit of a smaller squad in general uh, so that's happened uh lukianovic got his goal uh, we've had quite a lot of injuries which as i said we had on the, the team screen here so yuri alberto was and most of these have happened in the friendlies as well which was even more disappointing but yuri alberto broken ankle eight weeks to three months so he's pretty much gone for the rest of the season and he was starting to he got a couple of goals in the Desna game, I seem to recall. And he was really sort of on fire and getting goals. Premier League, seven goals in eight. Uh, not so much on fire with goals in the Champions League, but he was his average rating was 8.1. And that's a position we probably struggle a little bit more because we do play that Ram Deuter, uh in the attacking right side. <laughs> need, need a bit of a drink uh, in that position. And he's the only one really we've got that can do it. And our other right midfield options maybe aren't quite as strong 
Now we've got maybe one or two others, two others there that we can play there, but I'd say they're probably not as strong. The backup options aren't aren't there like we have maybe in other positions. And the other one that happened was Rodrigo, uh, which he went out for four weeks on a calf strain. So he will probably be back by the end of the season. He's wanted AC Milan. We've got a few players wanted, to be fair, and we'll see, have a bit of a struggle to keep them on. Uh, Shevchenko looks like he's going to be out on a free at the end of the season. Don't want to tie him to a new contract. No one wants to buy him, obviously, but no one's coming in for him on a free either. He is Ukraine's number one, so I mean he's only got 18 caps. He's, he's only just taken it from Piotrov. Is it Piotrov? Yeah. So what else have we got? We've got a new signing on the way. I, I don't normally do these, but where is he? Roberto Paz. He's another wonder kid. Uh, wonder kid, driven personality. Again, there's a bit of work there. Team work rate. I'd like work rate. I'd like to improve. But first touch, composure, determination. Everything there is. Tackling a 13, passing 18. He's got so many attributes there. And he's still only 19, gets into the opposition area. Look at him as maybe a bit of a... I mean, he's a deep-line playmaker, so maybe not at this stage. But if we can work him to be maybe a bit like a Frank Lampard. A bit of a box-to-box, -box -box, get in there and get on the end of the crosses and get on the end of the balls and just put some shots away. And we did actually beat Barcelona to his signature. It's not showing it now, so they've dropped their interest. But he went for 5 million, his minimum fee, for, fee release. We, as soon as I saw that, he's, we got the scout report come up. Bang, 5 million put in, we get him in. Now, I, I am aware we've got a lot of central fielders that are very good, but I've got maybe three there now I really like. And I've quite a few on loan who are looking at maybe coming in, but I think him coming in jumps ahead of a few of those, and we are going to have a massive clear out in the summer. So whether I'm playing this season or not, I'm prop, uh, on YouTube, I'm still probably going to play it offline until uh, Football Manager 19 comes out. This is probably my last Football Manager save. Uh, for FM18, I'm probably going to focus on other things if the season end, the series ends, or it will carry on until the game comes out. We'll see. Um, what else happened? Uh, we then had uh, Donovan Kiev in the league, like I touched upon, um, and we won 2 1 in that game. Amoko and Paulinho. Now, we were 1 0 down in this game, very much against the run of play. They didn't really create much in the game, but they scored one, and we took until 71 76. We made a few changes, subs, and system. Seems to do the job, and and a great 2-1 win. I mean, a draw, I would have taken a draw, certainly at 1-0, but to get the win and then push that 13-point gap on Kiev now. And they're now watching their coattails with um, Zoya as well, one point behind them. So the league's hotting up. We're, I wouldn't say we're away because it's obviously the split now. We've got to play all the top five, six. Um, but we've got to play Kiev what once more. We've still got to play Zoya twice. So it's And we don't like, you know, we like Zoya, but we don't like playing against them. They do give us two tough games. And we asked... Apart from the 7 0 side recently, we don't dominate the league in games as much as we maybe did when we had the three strikers up front. Uh, we're playing a bit more sort of conservative, a bit like we play in Europe, just to try and adapt more to it and do what we're going to do. So that's why the points difference in the league is not as high as normal. But what we're going to do now, we've got Man City, like I mentioned. So we're going to take a quick look at them, see who they got, who they're rocking. Uh, so Allegri is their manager, key player is Diabala. Finance is okay which is a bit strange because I thought they were just going to be forever rich. So they've still got Edison in goal. They've got some 21-year-old Spanish guy as backup. Yeah, he doesn't look too bad, does he? Uh, they've got Audets from me, but he's ineligible. Didn't register him for some reason. 25 million to not register and only play four games. Alan McManus sounds Scottish or like a snooker player, but he's a 20-year-old left back, two caps for England. And he's through their academy, but so that's actually quite good to see and quite nice to see. Hex Bellerin, John Stones, Eric Dyer. Uh, oh, he did play these last season or this season two years ago. I do remember that Pavard bloke, unless they've just signed him. No, they, he's, he's there. I do recognise that name because he played in a position he perhaps shouldn't have done. They've got Emerson, Kirantini, unregistered. Nacho, Gagliardini, Kevin De Bruyne, who's injured. Two to three months, so we're going to miss him. Obviously, a hot topic at the moment with him just getting injured for Man City. As Obviously, as I'm recording this, that's when we're looking at. Um, Arsenal have just lost to Chelsea, unfortunately, in the league. Uh, Deli Ali, Raheem Sterling, Ben Woodburn there still. Lozano, Bernardo Silva. I say still, he signed him from Liverpool. But I remember him playing him last year. Juan P, Laurie Sané, Pulisic, unhappy. Once first team football. Aguero, I mean, should I think he's about 36 now. I took a look at him. 33, 850k, but he's retiring at the end of the season, so I can't even try and look at him for next year because he's a false nine. 
in that sort of role. I, I, even with his pace gone and stamina gone, I think he could do a job in, with that role, but he's going to retire, unfortunately, so no chance. And then Dabala and Gabriel Jesus. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much sums up where I've been. <laughs> Obviously, you haven't noticed it so much, but where I've been for the last sort of, uh, at least the last week and in my head the last month or so not playing foot managers just recording other things so we will jump into the man city game be right back shortly so here are the lineups i'm just going to run a few changes that we've made since that first lineup you saw that i popped up on the screen at the start we have tinkered around a little bit so i've gone for looning in goal uh he's got a lot of clean sheets in the league he's on form i do have a bit of a memory of roffo being a little bit erratic uh so easy choice really uh, I've dropped Leo in at left back for Matt Vienko because I think he's just a bit more defensively stable, maybe for Europe, these big big games perhaps. Uh, I've dropped Patrack in central midfield alongside Espech. He's a bit taller than Hurtado. I think he just gives us a bit more height in that central area, which we need desperately. Uh, we've got Oya and Barco on the wings, which is an interesting one. Uh, Oya, I think, was a bit more of an easier one because uh, it was, uh, what's his name, Paulinho on the left. And I don't think we ever seem to get much out of him on the wide positions on the wings so a bit of an easy one i have brought barco in for uh amaroko uh i think it's just a, well, i am going to give him four, five ten minutes in that role maybe change the role up a little bit more to a playmaker but i do think he uh offers a bit more than amaroko a bit more experienced got a bloody good shot on him as well he likes to score from outside the box and we've got badger up front he's like six foot two as well so a bit more height up front gives us a bit more of a plan b or another alternative out ball if we need it uh, if you want to have a look at the Man City team and our bench, you know, feel free to do that now. Have a little pause or go back. We're going to jump into the game now. See how we get on. Um, I think if we can maybe do similar to what we did to Liverpool, maybe nick an away goal, keep it tight, keep the goals down. As Diabala just seems to be running through our whole team, as I was saying that. Uh, keep it tight, keep it... Oh, Barco's injured after five minutes. Uh, then I take that as... Ah, oh, as our fullback just gets rinsed by Gabriel Jesus. And we do clear it. We're going to give Barco a little bit of a chance to recover. Does it look like he's going to be? I'm not too sure. What's going on here? They've got a penalty. Where did that come from? Where did that even come from? Barco is recovering, but he has got the orange. What is it? Knee injury. We'll give him a little bit longer. We are going to change his roll up. To an advanced playmaker on attack. His percentage of fitness is creeping up. But I think it's stopped now. It's going down again. We are going to have to look at taking him off. Unfortunately. So. Barco, that experiment has finished pretty quickly. He's going to change to a winger on support. And we forced him to an early sub after half an hour, which isn't ideal. We win the ball, but look how many players they've got around us, and we just can't deal with them. But they're not short at the back. I mean, we we got... To be fair, we've got to get the ball at them to do that. We've not even had a shot yet after 30 minutes, I mean... So much for keeping it tight and nicking a goal. We we kept it a nil-nil so far, but the nicking the away goal doesn't look like it's coming from anywhere anywhere soon, does it? And look at that rebound. Oh, and Amoroko, he's through here. Can he beat his man? He's got good pace. Who's he not been able to beat there? Someone's got to get in the box for him. And that's why I didn't start. That's why I started Barco ahead of him. The decision making there. He's, whipped, he's crossed it into a box that's got no player in there. Okay, someone should be getting in there. Baggio nicks the ball. Gives it away. This is the other Shakhtar that we're seeing today. For all the swagger and the good play we do have. This is the other side of when, when it's not going well. Just get over outplayed. and Yeah. I mean, got to, If we can get to half time at 0-0. We can regroup and maybe think of a... We've had a shot finally but it's not on target of course. We've done 9 for, We're winning the fouls. Now, what do we do? We need to keep it tight at the back, but also give ourselves uh, something to... Hmm. 
something that we, we're putting a bit more pressure on them going the other way, really. I don't know what that would be. That can maybe give the centre-backs maybe something a bit more to think about for them. So, we'll have a look. This maybe can do something here. Luka Cevic is very far forward down the right. And Baggio, he's through. Why has he passed? Have a shot, mate. So, they're playing a 4-2-3-1. Oh, Gabriel Jesus is through. A weak shot. All right, we're going to pause. I think we need to drop our line back a little bit. We're playing higher. We're going to go slightly higher. Brings them on a little bit, perhaps. But... Mm, I think we're going to exploit the flanks a little bit more here. Um... Pass into space, perhaps. We we'll change his role because we are working it into the box. So, changing to a deep line forward doesn't really like it, but we'll give that a go for a try. Can he win the boy six foot two? He should be challenging that at least. And Deli Ali here. Ah, oh, there was something else I wanted to do in the changes, and as they go and score, Gabriel Jesus has picked up a knock. Ben Woodburn comes straight on. Don't know what that was. Foot injury could be a broken foot. Worst case, a sprain or a bruise. Best case, either way, he probably misses the second leg. But Woodburn, so far, ah, oh, Mamoko, okay. you got to have a bit more composure than that, mate. We nick the ball, but oh yes, the ball, the passing is just atrocious. When we do get the chance, no wonder we've not had any shots. And for all the chances we've had in this highlight to have the ball and have a, cha a chance to attack and break, it's theirs again. Lovely tight mark on Adele Ali there. Three of them and not one of them can put a tackle in, leaving Bedwoodburn on his own and he taps it in for 2 0. <sighs> Not 3 0. Quite with so the bar. And 2 0. Yeah, not the best ending to this game. 2 0. If we could have pinched an away goal, I'd have been happy, but with two shots and none on target, we weren't going to be able to do that. So we just have to hope we can get them back to our ground and maybe pull off a bit of a miracle there. They did miss a penalty as well very, very early on. Um, could, have been, could have been worse. I mean, could have been a lot worse than the overall outcome. So we'll come back for. I think it is that next game against Man City. We are going to... I think we've got one league game in the middle. Illich of Etz, yeah, and then we get Man City. So we will play that and come back to Man City. So you are going to have two back-to-back -back Champions League games for the first time in a while. So until that Man City game, episode 92, I think, as we're closing in on 100 episodes. Yeah, I'll see you later. Take care.